Greetings and salutations, fellow pilots. This is Akira Shin. In this video, I will be talking about the uh, planned update 2.0.4 Operation West Wall and new game modes. So, taking a look at this, uh, looks like they're going to be doing some maintenance on the, uh, well, today. This update is going to give us uh, new game modes, invasion and attrition. We'll talk about those in, uh, in a moment. But they have very uh, specific, it looks like, um, time frames that uh, these will be available to play. Uh, and here's the uh, schedule for that. And then there's also going to be a new game event, Operation West Wall. Uh, so it says um, it's going to run parallel to the launch of the of our two new game modes. And it says allies advance upon the Siegfried Line, a nightmarish barricade that stretches for hundreds of miles through France. Known by the Germans as the Westlaw, the line conceals thousands of fortifications, tunnels, and traps, preventing forces on the ground from marching beyond it. As the troops bottleneck, the Luftwaffe prepare to unleash a devastating surprise for the Allies. Fight as Allied or Axis forces across two campaigns and a total of 60 different missions. That's a lot of missions. With the completion of all missions in the brand new invasion and attrition game modes, rewarding players with the ultimate jackpot in the form of two new exciting aircraft. And what are those uh, new aircraft? Well, uh, these are going to be apparently premium aircraft. So I don't know if that means you can also get them in the premium shop. But they are the Dornier uh, DO-335 A1, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, file or feel, or, uh, but it's a, a Tier 8 German heavy fighter. Folks, I have wanted to get that aircraft for a long time. <laughs> In fact, many times I've wondered to myself, why doesn't Wargaming have this aircraft in the game? Well, now they're going to do that. It is very exciting. Um, just to give you a peek here, this is what that aircraft looks like. And uh, one of the big things about this aircraft was that it was supposed to be super fast. Um, so we'll see what Wargaming does in terms of its speed, but that was like uh, one of the huge features uh, of the real aircraft was it was supposed to be super fast. And of course it's got the... Um, uh, front propeller, but also the canard design with the propeller in the rear. So that's very interesting. Uh, looks like a fantastically cool aircraft, and I am super excited about this. And then in terms of the Curtis, there's going to be a uh, Curtis XF-15C Tier 8 American fighter, which is, I guess, designed to deal with this new German threat. And uh, let's see here, this is a picture of that. So an interesting and different looking fighter. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, what it's like in terms of maneuverability. Uh, you know, most of the American aircraft, the fighters tend to have good maneuverability, not um, great or very good, but just good maneuverability so we'll see what they decide to do with this one uh, if it's going to deal uh, with the uh, do-335 it's going to have to have high airspeed or it's not going to be able to keep up uh, at least if they're doing things historically accurate so um, that is all very exciting we're going to get two new maps 
Uh, one is uh, Lighthouse, so shine a light in the darkness. Now, I don't know that if that means we're, we're, we're going to have some darkness on the map. Or that, that would be very interesting. Um, we'll have to see what that means exactly. And uh, also Winter War, so that's it's always awesome to get new maps. That's, that's very exciting. Uh, they're going to be improving the combat log. I uh, don't know exactly what that means at this point. Um, improvements to in-game camera zoom. So apparently, uh, you know, when you're uh, flying your aircraft, you know, currently as it is, you can't seem to zoom in or out of the aircraft. And apparently um, uh, in the free camera mode, they're going to let you do that. So that's a great uh, addition to the game. And for those of you who like colorful uh, camouflage schemes, uh, apparently they're going to be having some. Uh, you can kind of see those there. Uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know about those. I tend to like, you know, more traditional, you know, uh, camouflage schemes, but you guys may like those. So if you do, uh, some of those are coming your way. So you can be excited about that. Okay, so just looking at the uh, fuller notes here, um, you see here um, that see two brand new game modes, Invasion and Attrition. Alongside the new in-game event, Operation West Wall, um, and we'll get two high-flying new premium warplanes. So apparently they are going to be premium warplanes, and they're obviously going to be high-altitude aircraft because they're saying they're high-flying. So that tells us something about those. Um, so again, that's very exciting. Uh, looking at the game modes here, Invasion. It's very interesting. It says it's an asymmetrical multiplayer game mode where one team must capture all sectors held by the other team in the allotted time. An attacking combat group increases their allotted time for completing the operation by capturing enemy sectors. So, you know, as, as the attackers capture an enemy sector, they get more time to capture more sectors, apparently. Now, the defending combat group must uh, retain control of at least one sector in their allotted time in order to win. Uh, the number of reserve aircraft is also limited. An attacking group has 25 reserve aircraft, while a defending group only has 15. So the attackers are going to have the advantage there. Uh, however, defending teams are backed up by anti-aircraft defense and AA guns. Let's see here. Sectors lost to the attacking team cannot be recaptured. So that's interesting. So once you capture um, a sector as the attackers, that's it. You you got it. You don't have to you know try to fight to maintain it. You can move on to the next sector. Uh, that'll keep things moving. Uh, destroying all enemy aircraft will also bring victory. Yeah, <laughs> one would hope, right? Um, additionally, the attacking teams can use all aircraft types while fighters, heavy fighters, and multi-role fighters are the only aircraft types that can be used by defending teams. So I guess uh, the defenders are not going to be using ground attack aircraft, which, you know, why would they, right? They're, they're just defending. They're not trying to take sectors. They're trying to defend them. All right, then we've got game mode attrition. Attrition is a mode for fans of gritty dogfights. The goal is to deprive the enemy team of resources by destroying their aircraft. Well, that sounds fun. <laughs> like blowing things up in the skies. So... Uh, at least in the game, anyway. <laughs> Let's clarify that. Uh, each destroyed aircraft deprives the enemy of one resource. By capturing sectors, player can, players can increase the value of each enemy aircraft destroyed. So if you capture a sector, um, and you, you're going to get more points when you destroy one of their aircraft. Uh, two sectors under the team's control will double the number of resources lost by the enemy. 
three sectors were triple, so on and so forth. Uh, and then, of course, they have limited reserve aircraft. Uh, aircraft respawn in groups with several recently destroyed teammates. A team that manages to fully deplete their enemy's resources first will win the battle. So there you have it, folks. These are some of the uh, changes here. Let's see if there's anything else going on. Just some balance changes. Uh, let's see. Anything else of particular note here? Uh, they're saying that the bots are going to be smarter. <laughs> I think we could. I think we can all agree we'd like to see that. So we'll see how that um, kind of. Uh, plays out hopefully all the bots will stop attacking bombers uh, i don't know you've seen certainly many times where you know like all the bots have gone to the bombers and they're like they're not doing anything anywhere else um, so you can really get screwed doing that hopefully they'll stop doing that uh, and let's see new set of paint schemes with the with flashy colors, basically, uh, for all these uh, various different aircraft. So you can check that out. Uh, let's see here. Added an option of zooming in and out for the free camera mode. Enabled via right click, if that's how you still have it uh, enabled or, or key bound. And for spectator mode after the aircraft is destroyed. So that's really nice. I've always wanted them to be able to zoom in. Um, and uh, yeah, they finally got that. All right, and then a bunch of bug fixes. So folks, that is uh, going to be the new update. Really exciting stuff there. Uh, I am especially looking forward to that. DO-335. Uh, there that is again. That is going to be so much fun. Now, uh, having said that, I am on my baby laptop right now, and it does not have a lot of horsepower. So I am going to have to wait uh, to bring you videos of these new aircraft uh, and uh, some of the, uh, the operation until... I get my um, Alienware laptop back, which is off uh, for some repairs to Dell. Uh, so that's probably going to be sometime next week. So, man, I'm going to be suffering, guys. <laughs> this is coming out, I guess, on what, the second? Um, and I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> and unfortunately, I won't be able to bring you videos until I get that uh, better laptop back because I don't want to give you crap quality videos. Um, so uh, stay tuned for that. Just know I will have not have forgotten about getting these aircraft out to you in videos. And as soon as I get my laptop back, uh, I will definitely be posting some videos on these, uh, these new aircraft. So... Uh, in the meantime, uh, enjoy the uh, new update, and uh, I look forward to bringing you that content. <music>